Item number SCP-4491 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures A single encrypted copy of SCP-4491 is to remain stored as SCP-4491.3G2 on an external hard drive contained within a standard safe security locker at Site-49. Requests to view SCP-4491 may be submitted to the project head for approval. Description SCP-4491 is a 99-minute long video file consisting only of a black screen. While SCP-4491 has an audio track, no audible sound is produced at any point during the video's runtime. SCP-4491 was originally discovered on an internet movie discussion board as a .3G2 media file titled Pulp Fiction, uploaded on February 14th, 2011 by Beep. Humans viewing more than seven consecutive frames of SCP-4491 described the footage in various ways. Despite reports of the footage often varying depending on the viewer, the following features have been noted across all depictions. Focus on a single consistent scene, regardless of subject's previous exposure to SCP-4491. Extended dialogue scenes, even in instances lacking audio entirely. Gratuitous use and often glorification of excessive violence. Majority of scenes consisting of a single long take. All on-screen characters being depicted barefoot. Addendum 4491-1 SCP-4491 Video Descriptions What in the subject's description? D-4977 and D-2818 Scene described as a strange diner with a 1950s aesthetic. A plague doctor shares a milkshake with a porcelain mask propped against the napkin dispenser. The shot subsequently pans slowly back, revealing more of the diner as the pair drifts out of focus in the frame. The dance floor is revealed to contain a corn crake stiffly dancing with a pile of fruit snacks, which remains motionless. The shot further widens to reveal a fish-headed figure tied to a chair. The figure displays no visual wounds, Two nondescript subjects, subsequently identified as 051 and 057, approach from off-screen. The first subject proceeds to repeatedly punch the fish-headed figure, while the second subject begins pouring gasoline on it. Scene proceeds as such for three minutes before ending. Dr. Jack Bright Scene is described as the basement of a home. The fish-headed figure sits bound in a chair alongside a man wearing an EMU-type spacesuit. The red gag ball is pressed into the fish-headed figure's mouth, and another is affixed tightly across the spaceman's visor. A man holding a shotgun, subsequently identified as Dr. Otto Clef, drifts into frame and begins conferring with an off-screen figure. While his reflection is visible in the spaceman's visor, no second figure can be seen. Though a string of distorted lowercase text is visible in the reflection. Note, text described is difficult to read. Sequence of characters, U-T-R-U-S-T, -T, was observed by the subject. The man holding the shotgun brandishes the weapon at a bound pier, repeatedly before smiling wickedly and standing. Feed cuts abruptly. Remaining 78 minutes runtime is devoted to a black and white propaganda film extolling the virtues of capitalism. D1843, D2343, and Dr. Sumerian. Scene is described as the interior of a diner. Eight figures sit around a circular table around a briefcase. Subjects proceed to discuss United States wage law for four minutes. The figure seated at the far left of the frame, subsequently identified as Dr. Jeremiah Sumerian, began speaking over others and advocating for the destruction of multiple Euclid terror anomalies, including SCP-035, SCP-049, and SCP-343. The figure seated at the opposite side of the table, 
subsequently identified as a group of six raccoons wearing a trench coat, rises and draws a gun, shooting the primary speaker twice in the chest. Remaining figures fall silent and stare at the gun. No significant change occurs for 18 minutes, at which point the briefcase on the table spontaneously opens and the scene ends before its contents are revealed. D1221 Scene described as a car interior. In the back seat, a man with a fish's head wearing a suit is bleeding profusely from the wound to the abdomen. A plague doctor drives the car, and a corn crate sits in the passenger seat. The plague doctor alternates between reassuring the wounded figure that it is going to live and discussing the nomenclature of hamburger sandwiches with the corn crate, who produces no audio. After one minute and eighteen seconds, the corn crate turns around in its seat to face the wounded figure and opens its mouth. The vehicle violently ruptures apart from concursive pressure, described as being caused by a deafening noise. Scene ends. D1221 subsequently developed symptoms of consistent with acute tinnitus.